Fan art's a great way for fans to pay homage to their favorite characters. It's also a great way for beginners to learn the styles of their favorite artists. It's also sometimes incredibly traumatizing and could ruin everything that you love about a fictional universe. Just like many kids growing up, I used to copy Spider-Man comics and Dragon Ball Z screenshots line for line. After doing that for a while, you start drawing from life, and then you put the two together, and BAM! You can make your favorite characters do whatever the hell you want. Some people take this a little too far. There are large communities of fan artists on Tumblr and DeviantArt. And since people can just post whatever they want, the content is usually questionable. People do fan art for a lot of the famous characters, but the most popular stuff is the weird stuff. Some of the biggest communities I've seen with the most interesting content is My Little Pony and Sonic the Hedgehog. I think it's pretty understandable why My Little Pony would warrant the type of fan content that it has. I get why people would like the show. It's made by one of the creators of Farsa's Home for Imaginary Friends and the Powerpuff Girls. But sometimes it feels like people are into My Little Pony for the sake of being weird and different. Anyway, this is supposed to be a show about games, so let's go to games. The Sonic fan base is a very large community with artists of uh, varying skill sets. There's a great Twitter account called Bad Sonic Fan Art, which is exactly how it sounds. You should go check that out. A lot of people like to take these characters and make them very emotionally involved. One DeviantArt user, C. Mara, decided to make a four panel comic where Shadow the Hedgehog is having a really hard time saying goodbye to Shrek for some reason. I mean, it leaves a lot for the imagination, that's for sure. Somehow, this idea became a fandom in itself. And despite C. Mara explicitly stating, this is not a YAOI pick, it's a friendship pick, other artists created their own interpretations. This type of art's increasingly more popular on Tumblr, where artists will take their favorite characters, no matter what the canon, and make them romantically involved. Usually in a gay way. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay, but there's something particularly wrong about Sonic and Tails being gay. Sometimes it's not just characters. Sometimes it's real people. Sometimes it's Benedict Cumberbatch. Actually, all the time it's Benedict Cumberbatch. Fan art doesn't always have to be bad. There are great fan artists out there, but that's something I'm gonna have to leave to another video. But hey, in the meantime, check me out. I guess you can call my stuff fan art. Also leave a comment below with the weirdest fan art you've ever seen. I've already shared mine with you. I'd like to see yours. Leave it in the comments below. Leave it on our Facebook page if you want. Link the picture. Like us on Facebook. Like this video. Subscribe to us. And most importantly, share us with your friends. Thank you very much. Have a good... The reason the Xbox One costs $100 more is the bundled Kinect sensor. And what great games use this exciting new technology. Anybody? Anybody got any ideas what great games use the Kinect sensor? Um, gotta catch them all. A Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> Um, bald guy, assassin, red tie. Uh, hitman. Yeah. Uh, first person shooter, the first person shooter. One word. Uh, Halo. No. Older. Goldeneye? No, older.